What is up guys, Manash here and today we have Aegon against Abyss of Legends Luke Cage. And this is gonna be a full ramp up fight with Aegon. So I've got zero hits on his combo meter, which does make the beginning of the fight a little bit trickier and also you won't be doing much damage in the first fight. So you just need to keep that in mind. And this is a bit of a tricky or annoying fight for a lot of people because you kind of do need to be able to intercept to really make it worthwhile. So basically, you know, the way it works is every 20 seconds, Luke Cage gains an unstoppable and unblockable buff, which you can only remove with Aegon by intercepting him. So yeah, because I have zero hits on my combo meter, this is the first fight I'm doing with Aegon on this path, I am not going to be doing much damage in the first fight. So you now you see he's got unstoppable and unblockable, so I kind of just have to wait it out a bit and then land a successful intercept to remove it. And there he unfortunately blocked my special too because I just didn't time it right. But I just carry on. And now the key to making this fight easier or to making the intercepting easier with Aegon is you just want to get to 50 hits on your combo meter first because then your heavy attack gets enhanced which will give you the unstoppable and combo shield when you launch it. And you can use that to intercept as well. So yeah, if you dash back a bit and time it right, you can use his heavy attack to intercept. And I imagine it's usually safer because you are going to be unstoppable while you throw that heavy attack. So you don't need to have perfect timing to intercept with it. So that's just something that you might need to practice before you can get the hang of it. Because even I sometimes don't always get it right. Just because I haven't really practiced, I haven't really done it much. I mean, I've only fought this Luke Cage once with Aegon before. And that was just to finish off the fight. But I can also rely on normal intercepting to remove those buffs. And also because you also need to align yourself correctly before you can intercept successfully. You notice that sometimes you don't end up doing as many hits as you'd want to. And you start using skirmish or warfare charges. One thing you might also be able to do at the start of the fight is just to build up to your special 3. Because then you can get a long stun which will allow you to do a few combos while you're still unblockable and unstoppable. And also if you're running abyss fights like this I highly recommend having max limber. Just so that at least when you get stunned it's not going to be as punishing. Because if you only have one point in Limba, then you can get stun locked quite easily and then just get KO'd. So yeah, it is a bit of an annoying fight with Aegon, and that's why I was saying that I wish I could have brought 6 champs for this part instead of 5. So I would have loved to have she off for this fight. Or style Spidey. So here I, I realized that I'm about to lose the combo shield and I was actually contemplating did I quit the fight now because if I get hit and I will get hit by that special attack A I'll be stunned and B I'll lose my combo because the combo shield would have expired. So I just decided that I'm just going to quit the fight here and then just revive and go back in. So that wasn't the best fight to start off with because I still had about 60 hits left but unfortunately I was just unlucky that my heavy attack intercept didn't work. And then he just dropped the medium attack and it was able to stun me and then he threw a special attack after that. So I, I might have been able to survive the special one, but I would have lost my combo anyway. And I just didn't want that to happen. So I just decided to quit the fight after doing only 200,000 damage. So the safest way I found to do a traditional intercept against this fight, because Kabam are a little bit particular when it comes to what counts as an intercept. So the safest way I found was actually to have him sort of dash at you and just keep dashing back because often when you keep on dashing back the defender is just more likely to just keep coming at you and then that's how I just find it easier to time the intercept without worrying about you know if he dashes back or you know if he behaves weirdly but yeah really what you want to do is just dash back and then let him come at you before going for the intercept be it with the heavy attack or your medium attack now one of the small tips I recommend using just to maximize your damage per hit with Aegon 
is to do 5 hit combos instead of 6 because you notice Aegon has a double medium or rather his second medium attack does 2 hits but you notice that those 2 hits individually are weaker than his normal light attacks so if you end with a light attack you're actually maximizing your damage per hit because the main limiting factor of abyss fights is that hit cap due to the skirmish or warfare charges so yeah, that's why I often just do a uh, medium light, 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 light with Aegon. And because you sort of have to wait for an opening to intercept, you're not going to always be able to do the maximum amount of hits in this fight. So in the second fight, I managed to do 197 hits, which I was pretty happy with. And that's basically when he goes permanently unstoppable and unblockable. That's when I ran out of charges. And just we also just want to make sure that you quit when you have the combo shield, just to be safe. So I'm not sure if it's been changed um, over the past few months, but I remember seeing reports of people quitting fights without getting hit with Aegon and then losing their combo, or rather their combo wasn't getting banked. So that's why I always just like to have a combo shield before I end the fight, just to be safe. So I used, I believe, 8 revives in this fight. Um, I had one fight that ended really early just because um, so I got hit trying to intercept and then later on I tried to intercept again with the heavy attack and I got stunned and that KO'd me. And then I had another fight later on more towards the end where I actually got stun locked. And that was just probably like the most annoying, most frustrating point of this fight because I literally got stunned 5 times in 8 hits, in 8 basic hits. And then he threw a special 1 on top of that which has guaranteed stun so that pretty much is to wipe me out. So. So yeah, I was just really unlucky there, but this fight is definitely doable in 6 revives with Aegon, you know, if you can utilize more of your hits. I just wasn't fortunate enough, but I think 8 to 10 is a bit more realistic. Because I remember in my best fight, which is, I think, the second last fight that I did, I managed to take him from 29% to 7% with 1 point in Assassin Mastery. Then I just had about 300,000 for the last fight. So the last fight only took about 65 hits. So yeah, this fight with Aegon is definitely doable in 6 revives and maybe even 5. You know, if you play perfectly. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.
Ooh.